Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Sarkis, welcome to my home. Now, as some of you may know, I've been creating a lot of subscribers, home theater room tour videos, and I thought I'd show you guys on what's happening here at H303.0 headquarters. Today, we're taking a look at some minor updates in the home theater and game room that's upstairs, as well as some big exciting changes that's coming up in the next couple of months. So watching movies is on pause, but with your help, I'm hoping to get things finished and dusted by Christmas. But before we check it out, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you like home theater, PC, general tech and gaming, hit that subscribe button to be notified on my upcoming videos. Enough talking, let's go check out the theater. Follow me. Okay, so first things first, a couple of days ago, I posted a community post on YouTube about if I should keep this red black theme going on or change things up to gray black. And most of you guys chose the gray black, so thank you guys for all your answers. I really appreciate it. It is a lot of work to get this room repainted and I'm still deciding to be honest. But for now, putting the theme color aside, I want to talk to you guys about my first minor change that has impacted this room drastically, and that is the lighting. I want to start off with the down lights in this room. From day one, when we first built this space, we had installed white down lights, just like the rest of the house. And as you guys can see, when you look at it directly, it kind of hurts your eyes and that's what I felt like when I was entering this room. Even though they were dimmed, it just didn't feel right. So I said, enough is enough and changed them to these smaller down lights that have the same wattage. And the difference is not only the diameter of the light itself, but also this one caves in a little bit, which doesn't scream bright light when they're on. I mean, have a look at the difference. Can something so simple affect the room this much? Yes, I do believe that. Now when I enter the room, it just feels more calm, moody, which is what a home theater is about. I should have made these changes a long, long time ago. These normally have a white round faceplate, but I took them off and painted it black. I'm trying to eliminate anything white in this room. I want it all gone. Gone, I say. Next up is behind the screen, I installed some LED strip lights that's on the same circuit as my step lights. So before and after any movie, these lights will come on and I just thought it would be pretty cool to see the speakers behind the screen. And this is also controlled by Mr. Google, of course, for voice recognition, which we'll take a look at once I remove the screen for you guys. And thirdly, I'm a massive star ceiling fan. In my previous home theater room, I had built one that was two by two meters floating panel, which looks sick, but in this room, I don't want to add that panel look. Uh, I do like to install it on the existing ceiling, but getting in the room in the ceiling will be a little bit tricky, but I'll eventually make it happen, so stay tuned for that. Moving on to some changes of the equipment in here. First thing I'll be doing is, for the next few months, I'll be changing my LCR speakers. So let me remove the screen for you guys so we can have a better look. Alright, so as you guys can see behind me, I have the old clip setup that's been with me for many, many years in different types of rooms, different layouts, and I think it's time for these puppies to go in the game room, which we'll take a look at in a minute, and upgrade these guys to something newer and bigger. I have a few options in mind, such as the Crix Wall of Sound, the JBL Cinema Sound Medium Format, and I am open for any suggestions, so if you guys have any, let me know. And if that type of system doesn't work out, I will most probably be getting something like the 3SVS Prime Towers or something similar. Next, I'll also be upgrading my receiver, which at the moment is the Denon 4400H, 
which will also be going in the game room as well as the PlayStation 4. Obviously pre-ordered my PS5 today, which I'm really excited about and possibly an 8K 11 channel receiver will go here with some additional amplifier system because I will also be replacing the two clip subwoofers that's been with me for many many years also. But I am open for any suggestions so feel free to comment. Oh and I also got rid of anything white in this room including my white grills that was on top of my Atmos ceiling speakers. I also replaced the front two speakers to the RSL 34C from the Klipsch. So I'm going to give them a go. They look pretty sick and uh, we'll see how that goes once I get the amplifiers to power them up. So let's take out these speakers and move them into the game room. Guys, we're in the game room now. As you can see, I brought in the clip speakers from the theater room. And next to them, I have the Polk TSI 500 speakers, which I managed to grab a bargain from Facebook Marketplace. I got very lucky, $150 for the pair. And yes, I tested them out before I purchased them. So winning. I'm not sure which of these speakers I'll be using right now, but once I bring the receiver in from the other room and hook it up, I'll be able to tell. Um, and I got these two re stands that I need to fill in for 5.1 system as well. So I'll probably need two bookshelf speakers. So if you guys have any anything that you can suggest, uh, shoot through in the comment section below. So it's slowly coming together as you guys can see, it's almost done. I've got everything in there that I just need to complete. But for the next couple of months, I'll be working on this side of the room, which is the pool table section. And I had bigger plans for this video today, but unfortunately it didn't work out due to weather and such. And I want to really get this kind of video up and running tonight. So I'll just show you guys this side of the room. So this is the pool table section. Let me know if you guys have any ideas for this room. I'm not so sure what I want to do, but that's it for today. I do have a few busy months ahead of me. Thank you guys for watching. I'll keep these updates coming when I can. In the meantime, stay tuned for a massive video coming in the next few days. It's getting late. I'm out. Peace.